Hi friends, I am speaking with my friend Prabhu and now in this video I am telling the concept of uh, in this issue of tutorial of how to passing the value from one form to another form. So I am telling this concept now in this place I am already declared the two form for to this concept. See this is the one of the form and then this one uh, is of pass value from one form to another form. Okay. So when I type in this text box and send me software goes to the text box 3. Okay. This text box sorry uh, form 3. Uh, open the value okay from 5 to 3 and passing value okay so how to pass the value okay now and go to uh, run it okay it's running now I'm go to send clicking means that time form 3 open so first of all I want to open that form okay so double click this button and declare this form Three. And declare that uh, ff3 uh, equal to new form 3 function and close here ff3 dot show ok like this and declare control s ok now I am going to run it So the uh, now send and clicking means that f3 form open okay uh, when I'm typing here and then given send means that time pass a value to this f3 form okay how to pass it okay so I am going to uh, get uh, declare that c sharp code okay see in this form 3 event this is the design of form 3 the form 3 get the label 1 ok the form 3 is the label 1 ok now I am going to declare here see this is the function event ok form 3 function event this function event I am declare in form 5 see in this form 5 I am declare see this is the function event ok so what you are declare in this function that one get in this f3 function ok so I am just declare here string Okay, string and declare and then declare a string on data data okay I want to get the data from text box 5 to 3 okay and declare here label label name okay label one dot text equal on uh, data that um uh, that parameter name okay this is the parameter name okay this parameter name I'm declare in this place see the parameter showing here string of data is a parameter okay uh, see uh, why I'm declared that label one means the text box why I have in this label one okay this is the label one okay now I'm go to uh, send button here I'm declaring the data of uh, text box text box one dot text ok control s see why I am declared the text box here means see the text box 1 what you declare that one get to this this form 1 text box ok the value get to this place the form 3 this value get here and then passing to this parameter of data this whole and then declare to this label ok ok now I am going to run it this pause is running ok it's open now I am going to run in this place I am declare any value one value ok I am declare here um, pass value ok like this I am declare and then given send so I am get here the pass value ok like this I am getting here ok and then also you are declared any other value also send means again also came here like this now I am go to declare control E and then 1 2 3 like this means send means again also 1 2 3 like this you can get ok so form 3 uh, open and then get the value many more time what you are declared that one you should get on that uh, many more place ok 
okay friends i am tell to you how to get the value and then an integer value and then many more uh, passing the value to the uh, concept of to this place passing from one form to another form okay i am told to you okay now want to add that combo box also means you can declare the combo box also here okay uh, how to uh, first of all go to toolbox having that uh, combo box here okay where is the combo box yeah here just and drag and drop here okay and then here you want to add that means just go to run place here and go to declare combo box one dot text dot add Now I'm going to run it. Now I'm typing here any value send. So I'm getting this combo box. Okay. okay like this you can get value. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to add that uh, value to the combo box means just stop. declare that table name okay that top table and declare the uh, data okay the task equal new data table okay like this and then we um, declare here um, variable name of combo box dot text dot box dot text text dot item automatically function okay so just time to run it now I am typing the value and send so get here and also I am go to send time you want to open okay so just and go to declare here i also on that of a for each condition for each just to copy this code control x and then declare here control v okay here that was Data 
media this is dot dot to string Like this, you can declare means you can get the data. Okay, okay, friends. Now I'm going to run it. Now I'm declaring the new value and send. So I'm get the value to here. Okay, like this, I'm get to here. And then also I'm typing here. Any others means send means another value also I'm get here. Okay, okay, now. And just I remove it. Now I'm going to run it. Now I'm passing the value and send. So the value I'm not passing. Okay. So we want to add the data to this place. The data uh, want to set in ss dot data dot like this. I'm set the table also. Okay, uh, you want to create the column and then uh, rows. You want to create the table so that purpose only the value pass into this combo box. Okay, otherwise not passing to this combo box to fill. Okay, it's not is it's not a correct. But I'm told to you it's like this. You can set to passing the value. Uh, to the combo box means we want to add that item into the combo box means this code you need to um, declare that one okay so if you have created the database into the SQL or any database means you can pass like this I will not create it means dynamically you want to means we create a C sub code for uh, rows and then columns and then after you want to declare okay so just time go to swap it and then rerun it rerun it and declare a label name okay label and declare now I'm going to run it so I'm get to the value from this place to the uh, typing this the form 5 to form 3 okay send so that value I'm get to here okay I'm um, go to control here mm, declare here uh, any one value of oh, 1 2 3 4 5 okay like this and send again also so uh, value here to here 1 2 3 4 5 Okay, like this. Okay, friends, I am telling you how to pass the value from um, one form to another form. Okay, you can use that value to the data review also from one data review to another data review. Uh, pass the value. Okay, this concept also I am told you in before video. Okay, so in this is short tutorial. You get that many more video to useful. Okay, okay, friends. Uh, I am told you how to pass the value from one form to another form, and then also I am told you how to uh, pass the value from one data review to another data review from one form data review to another form data review I am already told to you uh, thank you if you are like this video just share it and then uh, subscribe and thank you bye and now I am told to you in best one part